Hey everybody, uh, I'm making this video just to try something new uh, and see how it works out. I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube about couponing, you know, stream couponers and, and, and things like that where people will just go to the streams with their coupons and, and save outrageous amounts of money and even make money back, get their stuff for free and all like that. Anyways, it, it caught my attention so I thought I would give it an attempt and uh, yesterday I went to Dollar General and uh, gave it my best shot and I was just going to make this video talk about what I did, how my experience was. Uh, this is a picture of the things that I bought. The thing I like about this couponing idea is that you can save a lot of money on things that you need, that you will use and that's what caught my attention. I mean, yeah, you can get all these coupons and, and buy a lot of stuff at a very cheap price, but if it's not something that you can use, then what's the point? Uh, so I went the route of trying to buy stuff that's practical and it wasn't the best deals, but it's the best deals for me. So the first thing I got were two of the Bounty Essentials paper towels, a uh, six pack. Normally priced at uh, $5.45, if I remember correctly. Uh, but they had a deal going on, an instant savings, where if you bought two of them, or two bounty products, you would instantly save 50 cents. So I was able to get each of these for $4.95 a piece. Then on top of that, uh, Dollar General had some uh, digital coupons that I used on each of those where one of them was for one dollar off digital coupon and then they had a second one for 80 cents off okay so there's one of them the 80 cents off uh, the dollar coupon I think that is it right there yep so I took advantage of both of those and saved a dollar and then the 80 cents and the next thing on the list was the Charmin Essentials, which is going to be the toilet paper right there. $9.95. Uh, they had a digital coupon for $1 off. Uh, and all these store coupon prices that's down through here. That is actually uh, another deal they have going on on Saturdays where you uh, get $5 off of a $25 more purchase and what it does it just breaks it down amongst all the uh, items that you buy so that's why you want to see all these store coupons like 50 cents 50 cents dollar one 46 so on and so forth it's just it took that five dollars and it spread it out evenly throughout all the products so anyhow uh we got the charmin essentials they had a dollar coupon on it and i don't think it's going to be listed on here i think that's one that expired yesterday yeah, yeah, it expired yesterday. So I got a dollar off of that. Then next, I got the extra liquid, which is right there, laundry detergent, and they had a dollar off coupon for it. So I took advantage of that. Uh, next was the Gain Fabric Softener, which was on sale for two dollars and ninety-five cents. Right there. And there was also a $2 coupon on it. Uh, I got the All Stain Lifter Detergent right there. It was $8. I got a $2 off coupon. Uh, then there was the had Ajax Ultra 52 ounce uh, dish soap with a $2 coupon on it. So brought that down to a dollar. Uh, then there was the Suave Men's Deodorant, right there. It was $2, had a $0.75 cent coupon on it. Then there was a Suave, uh, just regular deodorant that I got. I uh, bought it because of a, a separate coupon uh, outside of the Dollar General digital coupons. Uh, so it was just regular price, $1.85. 
Uh, about the Tide Simply Pods, 13 count. It was on sale for $2.95 with a $2 coupon right there. And the last one was the Aleve Back and Muscle 24 count. And it was $3.75 at a $3 digital coupon. Uh, and then it combined all the five off of 25 deals spread it out among all the, the items that's going to be the store coupon which brought my subtotal down to $28.30 added the tax made the total $31.37 I saved a total of $20.55 which is 42.07% of what was actually spent what I would have spent had I not used any coupons would have been let's see 31.37 plus the twenty dollars fifty five cents of coupons so I would have spent fifty one ninety two without the coupons this is the breakdown so I actually spent thirty one thirty seven uh, then I had extra coupons through uh, an app I use on the phone I bought it and a few other apps that had little savings coupons it saved me an additional dollar and 55 cents uh, the one dollar and 50 cents actually came from the suave uh, both of them each of them had a 50 cent uh, coupon through Ibotta and then had a bonus of if you uh, use two suave coupons you got a bonus 50 cents uh, then another app that I had saved me an additional five cents. So that actually brought my out-of-pocket total to $29.82. And you average that out, divide that by the 11 items that I bought, that averaged out to $2.71 per item, which is not the best average per item when you look at some of the extreme couponers and things like that on, on YouTube. But it was my first attempt, and I wasn't going for the low average number I was just going for stuff that I would use then after that trip um, I went to go get something to eat and while I was eating I got to thinking about uh, an additional coupon that was printed out uh, when I checked out it all, not only gave me a 5 off of 25 coupon for the following Saturday uh, but it also gave me a bonus $5 coupon uh, for any amount on any day uh, so long as I spent at least five dollars and, and one cent, uh, I could use the five dollar coupon. So while I was eating, I, th I was thinking about that extra five dollar coupon, and decided, well, maybe I should take advantage of it while I was already in town doing the shopping, and just get it out of the way. I went back to the my coupon apps uh, to Ibotta and started looking at what additional coupons I could stack uh, and what I decided to do was to take advantage of some drinks I had on sale uh, Dollar General was running an instant savings deal where on if you buy the uh, things like the 7-up uh, Canada Dry uh, I think Dr. Pepper and a few others were in there if you bought three of them you got them for a dollar a piece uh, and they were originally a dollar thirty-five or a dollar fifty-five a piece, <clears throat> and there was actually a, a Sun Kiss that I bought as well. This uh, in this that I didn't take a picture of because uh, I actually gave that to my mom because I don't drink Sun Kiss. But but Ibotta also had a deal going on where you could save twenty-five cents on each drink. On, a, on up to five seven ups uh, the Canada Dry was on there the Sun Kissed was on there uh, and there were a few other drinks that were not there and I kind of messed up I should have bought one more uh, seven up or either another Canada Dry well they didn't have another Canada Dry but they did have another seven up and anyways I got confused uh, I had my mind on buying you had to get three drinks to get them for a dollar a piece and when I bought the Sun Kissed it wasn't part of the three for one dollar uh, deal and I, I got mixed up and anyways it sort of threw off uh, the 
the Dollar General instant savings, so I ended up paying a dollar thirty-five for two of the drinks instead of a dollar. But anyhow, I I still came out ahead uh, with a good deal. Uh, so I had the Sun Kissed. It was already marked down for a dollar, so that sort of worked in my favor. But like I said, there were some that I didn't I didn't get the um, the instant savings and it sort of messed me up uh, and then I used the five dollar off coupon so it brought my total for the six drinks to one dollar and seventy cents at the tax made it a dollar eighty and I had a savings of six dollars and five cents which was seventy eight point oh six percent of savings so had I not used any of the savings Let's see, I would have had a dollar eighty-two plus six. Oops, six dollars five six. I would have paid seven dollars and eighty-seven cents without any coupon savings. So uh, I had a dollar eighty-two that actually paid. Uh, then through the Ibotta app, uh, through twenty-five cents off of each drink, uh, they also had a bonus uh, where if you got three different types, you had an additional twenty-five cents. Uh, then the extra savings through the other app, so I ended up saving a dollar seventy-five, uh, and my out-of-pocket total was actually only five cents. Divide that by the six items I bought, and the average was actually less than a penny per item. So I did really well on that one. Uh, had I not messed up the instant savings, I would have actually come out ahead. I would have made money on the transaction, but. Anyhow, lesson learned. It's still a great deal. I'm not going to complain about it. So anyhow, that was uh, that was my trip, uh, my first experience doing couponing, and uh, any suggestions, anything like that, just let me know. Later, guys.